that was weird. Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I want to make sure I'm recording. This is not working with me. Okay. Hello. Is everything okay? I hope it is. Um, hello. What? Bl what was that? That was not English. Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be checking out the new lip designers that came out. Um. I'm sorry I was not able to get to them on Wednesday or anytime sooner. I've been really busy, but uh, I'm finally here, and they look very s similar. <laughs> to be honest, I'm on my Morgan right now, and if we go to the Bay one, like, how similar do, do these two look? They look very similar to me, but they are different at the same time. They are different and similar, but they are different enough, so. I can kind of see it though. They're, the Morgans for some reason are a lot, are a very small breed. They remind me of the Welsh ponies because they're very small. These are like 14 hands. Morgans would be up to like 16 hands tall. I don't understand why they made them so small. But anyways, we are gonna be getting one of these, I think maybe i don't know also my screen got really weird i don't know what happened i do know that they're adding like a new screen like this part this stuff in which i don't like at all because look at this it makes this go here and i don't know why it does that but it does and i had to change a lot of my settings to make it look at least somewhat similar and it just drives me crazy because this this goes like this and everything's so small and i don't like it anyways um i have enough star coins to get one of these and also this glitch keeps happening too so yeah but uh i have enough star coins i will probably be buying star coins somewhat at the end of the school year that way i can do like an end of school year shopping spree but until then let's hope i don't buy too many horses where i'm completely out of star coins means I'm doing, I'm trying to do my best to not buy star coins. Um, I just don't really want to spend that money right now. But yeah, let's take a look at these horses. So this is the Black Lip Designer. Um, let's look, we walk, trot, canter, gallop, fast gallop. It looks very stiff to me. And then we have the special gait, which I actually like. And the special move, you know, I found out, I think they do either gates or at least actually they do the special move which is surprising i didn't know horses could do that but still cool so this is the default main this is the um another one which is the default main with this tail with this with its tail up then we have it roached with the main out then we have complete shave tail or tail out i mean and we have braids with the tail braided. We have these little braids with the tail braided. Then we have, I call this the English thoroughbred main style with the tail out. And then we have the tail or the main braided and these little braids and then the tail up. So this is the black one. It has just a little star. And then we have the bay, which has no white markings which I have a lot of bays, so I don't think I'm going to be getting this bay. Then we have this dapple gray. It's actually really nice, but I don't like it that much. Then we have this steel dapple gray, um, which actually reminds me a lot of Joey, um, this Esme's horse. Um, then we have this lighter dapple gray, which actually is very nice. I actually really like this coat. It's really cute. Then we have this very, oh no, this is the uh, flea bitten gray, which has very small flea bites. I think that's just what I call them. And then we have the very light gray, basically white. Out of all these horses, ah, okay. Out of all these horses, I like these two the best, to be honest. I loved out or flea bitten grays, but this one's too light for me. This one is very cute. And this one is like super dark. And I also already have a horse named Joey too. Um, but this face is so cute. Anyways, I think I'm gonna be getting this one. I have no idea what I'm gonna name it, 
but let's use main style first. This mane is actually really cute, and the tail is too 2D for me right now, so I think I'm just gonna leave it with a normal mane and tail. I will, I can always change it if I want to as well, but this one looks really cute. Um, so let's make it a adult, and we will do mare, because I don't have a lot of mares, so, um, do I have a horse named Angel already? Because this horse literally looks like an angel to me. It's so cute! Oh my god, this looks like an angel. Okay, perfect. Angel. Yes, let's buy this horse. So we are going to ride it now because I think we have closets around where I can just go ahead and make an outfit. But my goodness. Okay, this horse is really cute. And also, they changed these from being, um, like, the older generation to now the newer generation, which is really cool, and each one has a different coat color, and I think a different tack set on it as well. Um, is there a... Oh, yeah, over here. Let's make an outfit for this horse. And... Okay. I actually did not, I did not go too low, which I'm actually quite happy about, so yeah. Okay, let's make a, um, outfit for this horse. I want to do something good, um, you know what, let's look at, no, those are not, no, okay. I don't have any like white like sets. I only usually get black. But I think this one actually looks pretty good on this horse. So we're gonna choose this one. Um, yeah. And then these saddle pads. Okay. Let's do a dressage saddle pad because I feel like that's what I would do on this horse. Um and then let's choose one of these. Since I'm already using silver, I'll use that silver. And then leg wrap. Let's see how leg wraps look on this horse. It's still these weird. Okay. Boots. We'll leave this horse without any. Um any footwear <laughs> i guess um i actually really like this coat i've said that before do i have any white pants i will be getting and trying to get the sets um i'm working towards getting the sets so yeah um that literally looks like pure gleaming white this one is in, this one can work This does not look like a good set. This does not look good at all. But, yeah, we're gonna leave it with that. I'm gonna try to like get, you know, like these sets and see what looks good on this horse. Um, I do think that yellow, this yellow set might look good. Yeah, it really like pops the white and like the light gray out of this horse. So yeah, I think I might need do this yellow set onto this horse. I think that would that would look really nice. But like I, I don't really have that right now. I don't have this set right now, so we're not we can't do anything. Um six spring tokens. But that will be the set I'll be working towards from now on. Anyways, let's do this quest that we have. Um I'm excited for this actually, so Welcome to the dressage arena. I got permission to run a dressage event to teach people the sport. Dressage is quite popular, but it's not really practice here. You usually have to travel if you want to compete. So I'm trying to drum up some excitement because if more riders in Jorvik want to do dressage, then that might become a local thing, right? We could get some actual trainers and professional judges to come here. Sounds great, right? Do you want to try out my 
my instruction to basic dressage? Yes! Yes, I do. Before I get started, the most important thing in dressage is performing the test correctly. It's not about speed. Aim for the highest amount of points instead. So, how do you get points? Well, by doing the dressage test as close to perfection as possible. If you think of this as a dance choreography, you practice some moves and perform them to the best, to the beat. But instead of dance moves, it's following a set of riding patterns in the arena as closely as you can while being in the correct gait. If you get you get points for each pattern based on how well you did, ranging from 0 to 10, with the higher number getting better. If you don't follow in the intended pattern, let's just say you go in the wrong direction or you're galloping when you should be in a canter, you get a penalty. Three penalties in one pattern and you're out. Either start again or go back to training and memorizing the pattern. Since this is your first time, I'll let you continue with the lesson despite how many mistakes you make, but I'll still call out penalties because I'm not going to be blamed for teaching you wrong, right? When you are ready, uh, start by going to the first checkpoint in the middle of the arena while in a walking gait. Press start. Okay. This is cool. I'm excited. Okay. So it said walking gait. Oh my goodness. So this is kind of like the druid training thing. Um, it's just I always do my best to do that the fastest I can instead of going super slow because I don't have time to walk and trot them. I do my best to go them, do them fast. One thing is super important. Every dressage test is that you greet the judges. Show us some proper respect with the bow. You're doing well so far. Go to the next check checkpoint right ahead. So in a walk. This is actually very similar to the dressage in the Starshine Legacy game when you play as Anne and you might be it's just I had no ex I got no explanation like this so yeah uh, so I didn't really know how to do it properly so. turn to look behind you turn to look behind you and to your left do you see the green checkpoint over there that means that once once you reach that checkpoint you will be instructed to change the gate gate changes are flagged in advance with green checkpoints so switch over to the trot once you reach the I do think it's out of a hundred. Ten, ten points each up to a hundred. Yeah, I think that's it. And this, like, dressage is not what I'm used to at all. Like, I'm used to going fast because in game I always want to get to places and you want to do things fast because you don't have time to lollygag. But also, like, in real life, I jump and, like, I do um, hunter jumper as well as show jump. I'm training to do both. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. So, yeah. So, like, I don't go at a slow pace. If you know what I mean. Alright, that should give you an idea of how dressage works. Let's wrap things up. Just like you said hello, now it's time to say thank you and goodbye. Give your judges and the audience a bow before exiting the arena. Too bad. It was actually at a 60 this time. So let's go ahead and clean. 
claim our XP. Can I? Can, okay. People are standing where I need to click. So how was it? That was an introduction, but you should now have the gist of the bas basics. Keep in mind that little that little test is in no way close to how real, real dressage could and could be should could be should it become the next big, next big thing here in Norfolk. There are different types of dressage, and this is the one I'm most familiar with. I'll be honest, dressage training and daily com competition until the end of the festival, what's the difference between the two? Part of dressage is memorizing the test. Again, comparing it to dancing, most isn't freestyle. It's following an established choreography. So dressage training is for practice while competitive is the real deal. It's you getting up on stage to shine. You can train as much as you want and I'll help you to learn it as best as you can. Then you do the competition where you have to rely more on memory and instincts. I'll then even give you a prize if you complete it. It'll be the same test throughout the festival, so don't worry about learning a new one, a new one every week, right? I'll see you around, I hope. So, dressage training, let's do that. So, yeah. So you earn no XP from doing training. Um, so actually, yeah, I will do this later because I get no XP from it and it's just gonna be the same thing. Now, what do you get from the actual test? I want to see. Obviously, I don't know. Should I just do it? <laughs> because why not? dialogue see if i have another chance for this be ready to show me what you can do remember you can practice as many times as you want but you can only complete once every day if you want to track your progress by looking at the final score you need to do it so yourself you won't believe how much paperwork i have every day to have this event and up and running sorry but i can't keep track of your score for you i'm also going to be harsher on calling out penalties okay don't think i don't notice your eyes bugging out when you realize you're making a mistake during training i'm acting as a proper judge during competitions not as your friend or trainer just remember to pro project your confidence and maintain proper posture trust in yourself and angel you're on top of the world when you're when you're riding you can do it i'm just gonna do it for the fun of it see what i can do with literally one day of training so yeah i just have to be super focused now 400 xp has only gotten me to level three well has gotten me to level three so this is 600 yeah 600 now this is literally what i just did as well um shoot, i was not ready to go Apparently this is not the same game. Now I drop much sooner. Oh shoot. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. 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 I get it now. Okay. That was it's not the same. So there are no lines to direct you now, it's just the little little checkpoints. Okay, that does take away your penalties, by the way. Doing good takes away your penalties. train more before I do the competition so um yeah we I will film my mastery video first mastery video yeah 
<laughs> that was probably a dumb decision to do. Anyways, I do think we got some new tack um this this week. So let's go ahead and check it out if I can find it. This is not where it is. Um I don't yeah, I don't think this is where it is. It might be in the global store. Is it in the global store? It is in the global store. So then we got some new saddles. So we got these new saddles. Um, we got these new saddle pads as well. Um, really nice. Then we got these new saddle pads as well. And yeah, so these are like fur saddle pads. Um, and then we have these new saddles. Yeah, and we have these new saddle pads, which these two are supposed to go together. And I thought we got new bridles too. But it looks like we didn't. Did we not? No, I guess we didn't. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the new tech that we got this week. This horse is really pretty, and her name, Angel, really fits her very well. Um, I will say, like, this, this tack set might look good on her, as well as I think this yellow tack set, too, would also look very nice. plum color as well might make yeah a lot of the colors will look good on her pink looks good on her as well i don't know we'll just see but that is it for today's video i'm sorry that i could not get this video out sooner for you guys but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye